So, now that it's the weekend, discuss to me what has been going on recently. Well, the first day I met him, a lot has happened that day. Care to explain? Sure. During after school hours, I came across overhearing some conversation between Ellery and this other kid named Kieran. I stood back to hear what's going on. Turns out this Kieran knows me very well. Almost too well. Bit odd that I recently moved here. Out of nowhere, Ellery was being choked by that kid. Not even physically. It was like a force that choked Ellery. Turns out it's his proto-ability. Black green I believe. Sounds like it could be similar to Sapphire's proto-ability. But what you're saying can be different than hers. The element is called force field. So like a telekinesis? Wrong, you see. Sapphire's telekinesis element controls and manipulate objects as well as creating gravity. This Kieran Kid's element seems it forces beyond the barriers of just using objects. Almost as he can force air to use physical strength against anyone. Good grief. So it's a high chance there's more people with their own unique proto ability. What a giant pain in my ass. From the looks of it, seems it's going that way. But don't forget, if this Kieran person knows who you are, then there's a likely chance somebody in this town, or even country, knows who we are. My theory as I see this going about, the person with the golden heart knows we're here and possibly has hired people to eliminate us. Ugh, can I just live a peaceful life for once? Not having to worry about this per- I'm assuming that's it then? Just that day is what you've seen? Technically yes. I haven't seen Kieran nor any suspicious activities since. Oddly enough, it does raise a red flag now that I think about it. Well in that case, I'll just keep investigating around town. While you can continue figuring out Ellery's prota and element ability. He must know his own energy before anybody tries to kill him and take away his recessor soul. By the way, have you met his mother? Yes, I have. The meeting was rather unusual at first, but then the conversation became smooth right after I told her about Shiniki. Let's just say, she was very concerned about him. Even though he did leave her for 14 years, she still has a lot of love for him. Good grief. For being the first time using the subway, it sure is coming late. I could have waited for the bus, but traffic was getting hectic all of a sudden. Especially at this time around. I wasn't aware this town even had a subway station. Must have been under construction a long time ago. Not to mention it does look pretty empty. I guess that's why cab companies are being established so fastly. Oh, there it is. I guess it was running late after all. Hopefully this takes me to my destination faster. Hey, I guess this ain't all that bad. It's actually quiet. Though, it's weird how I never knew about this station, let alone the fact guy who told me about it. And he's only been here for about a year. Actually, make that two years. What the? Who said that? Seems my older brother didn't tell you about me. Funny to see you here as well. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Caillou's younger sister, about three years younger than him. They call me the Explosive Princess. The name is Rosie Miles. Wait, you're Caillou's sister? I wasn't aware he had siblings. Actually he has two siblings. Me and my baby sister. I have a question though. You said they call you the Explosive Princess. Just who is they? Back in America, there were few people I knew. I guess I inherited my counterpart's protos. Although I was trained by a good friend of mine. They call her the Queen of Explosion. I assumed Caillou told you about protos and elements. He did spoke about you a few days ago. You're one of the S-Class Descendant. S-Class Descendant? You mean Blood Type S Descendant? I guess. I liked saying S-Class Descendant cause it sounds more cooler than saying blood type. Oh, okay. Rosie what the heck? I thought you would have waited for me. No way. Is that you? Holy crap. Ellery. It's been so long. How have you been? Wait you know him? Of course I do. Gina it's been so long. How you been? 
it's been good as usual. You still look the same after all these years. Lucky you. Hold on for a minute, you never told me you know him. Me and Gina know each other back in elementary. Actually, we've known each other since we're toddlers. Our moms were very close friends. I guess you can say we're childhood friends. All of this is giving me a headache. How is it giving you a headache if me and Ellery were explaining that we've known each other? Maybe I'm just tired, I don't know. I wanna go home. Well, at least it's the weekend. You can sleep all day if you want. Hey Rosie, I've been meaning to ask you something. Oh yeah? What is it? Well, I'm not trying to sound biased, but you're from America, right? That's correct. San Francisco, California. Yeah, but... your language. What about my language? I think I know where Gina is coming from. You're from America, and now that I think about it, you speak Japanese very good considering you've only been here at least a year and a half. Especially your brother, he speaks it as if he's been here throughout his entire life. We're fast learners, Ellery. It's not hard learning to speak a foreign language. Typically it takes three years to learn Japanese. I guess that's normal for a short amount of time. What about you? Digaldo isn't much of a Japanese last name. You're from somewhere else, huh? I honestly don't think you would want to hear the entire backstory about me and my family. You're hiding something, huh? Of course not. It's too embarrassing to even discuss about it. I prefer to keep it private. It's not like you to disregard a topic, is there something you've been hiding from us? Come on Ellery, not you two. Just tell us and we'll leave you alone. I think it's best you two leave her alone. After all, her father runs a successful company here in Motozaki City. Give her a break, let her enjoy her life as a rich girl. Wait, just who are you? Oh, no one's special. Just an average girl taking the subway. I guess I wasn't the only one here. How about we introduce ourselves? So that way our little introduction wouldn't be so awkward. Um, I guess? You already know who I am apparently. It's kind of odd how you came out of nowhere and immediately started a conversation with us. Oh I see, don't trust me. Very well, I'll introduce myself then. My name is Lolly, Lolly Antanasia. Antanasia? What is that like Russian or something? Nope. Close, but it's not. Antanasia is mainly Romanian. Lolly, it can't be. There's no way she could have survived that attack from Zero. We all saw her die. I don't know why. But for some reason I feel enraged to see her. Either I'm getting annoyed, or just dwelling the past. But for some reason, her energy feels different, like, good different. I can't determine if this is the Lolly five years ago. They both look alike, but different sense of energy. Oh. Wow. So you're kind of like Rosie and I. We're all from different countries. But speaks Japanese clearly. Right Rosie? Um? Rosie? Are you okay? Yeah. You seem rather angry all of a sudden. Elri, Gina. I'm going to the next room. Rosie why? What's up with you now? You're acting strange. Rosie, wait. What's wrong with you? You're different. Way different than I remembered. There's something about you that is giving me skeptical vibes. I know for a fact you're planning on doing something. It's better you fess up now, or things will get worse from here. Sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. You might be mistaken with someone else. It's rude to assume people's appearances without knowing who they are. However, you seem very confident that you know who I am, don't you? I see. There's more I must ask you. But it seems right now is not the right time. I'll be in touch. Sorry Ellery, but I gotta go see what's wrong with Rosie. Uh, okay? Your friend is very optimistic. I can tell she's quite of an inspector, huh? Now that I can finally sit, you don't mind if I sit right next to you? Um, no, not at all. Perfect. Now, your name is Ellery, right? Nice to meet you. Hopefully you're not like your little friend that just left the room. Uh, yeah. I guess, what the hell is wrong with me all of a sudden? 
Why am I feeling this way? Am I nervous being around her? I never experienced a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a girl before. I uh, sorry Lolly. But I'm having these. What the? Ah, Lolly. You're so close. Sorry Ellery, but I couldn't stop staring at your eyes. Something about them are unique. What? My eyes? I don't know why, but they're so beautiful. I never seen eyes so pretty. Beautiful? Pretty? Can a boy like me even accept such a compliment from a girl? I'm so confused. Does that even work in this type of scenario? You know, there's something I've been wanting to ask. What do you think of me? What's your opinions about me? I would like to know. You must be mistaken. I'm not really your type. Hush now. No need to get all antsy about it. Now Ellery, answer it properly. What do you think of me? Do you think I'm pretty? Um, I guess? No, there's no such thing as I guess. It's either a yes or no. I won't get mad if you say no. I just want your honest opinion. Um, I do believe you are. Good. See, wasn't that easy? Now then, answer this. On a scale from 1 through 10, how much do you like me? Wait, hold on. I hardly know you. I don't even know how relationships works. I never even had a girlfriend. Oh, I see. You're shy, aren't you? Well, don't worry. I can help you. All you have to do is answer my question. And we're solid. Okay? My heart is literally pounding right now. I don't know what to do. She looks very pretty. But this isn't how I dreamed of getting a girlfriend. Something isn't right. Ellery, I'm waiting for your answer. Is it a yes or no? I, um, uh, I don't know. Yes? Wow, very sweet of you to say that. I guess that makes us almost a thing, huh? But this for sure, we'll make it. Official. What the hell am I doing? Am I really going to do this? I don't know what to do. My heart is pounding like crazy. I'm afraid for some reason. What do I do? No, something isn't right at all. I sense a strange feeling from her. It feels evil. What am I doing? She's probably after Caillou. What do I do? Caillou out. Huh? What happened? Did she kiss me? Wait. What the? She's gone. But. How? There's no way she could have disappeared like that. You Ellery? Are you alright? We heard you screaming like a little girl. Guys. Where were you? I almost got attacked by that girl. Girl? What girl? That girl that was in the subway with us. She apparently knew who Gina was. Rosie you started to walk off to the room cause of her. You had an angry look on your face too. You guys don't remember? Whatever dream you had must have been a real trip. I mean look at you. God damn it. It's not a freaking joke. This is serious. She had a strange energy coursing around her body. I sense it. It felt evil. Okay smart ass. Can you explain who this mysterious girl is? Cause if you were to sense negative energy, that means you should be able to remember. Hey, I'm back. I got some interesting intel to tell you all. Huh? That's strange. It's only you here. I guess everyone is lurking around still. How was your trip? I'm assuming it was a success. Of course it is. I am the brains after all. My conversation between I and Ellery was quite cute to be honest. And here's the funny part. He was literally scared out of his mind when I was about to kiss him. Kept questioning himself in his mind. Oh so you have a thing for him? Frankly, I do have a bit of a crush on him. He was such a sweetheart. So easy to read. He might be my type. So I see. That's quite interesting. Although, I don't really care about your feelings towards the boy. After all, he's going to die anyways. Yeah, you're right. What a shame for him. Listen, Lolly. Years after years I've been chasing that goal from a long time ago. You don't know how much I think about it. Killing innocents, murdering civilians. I tried killing my adopted brother, killing his grandson, heck even his grandson's daughter. And that damn kid. Oh that Caillou. He was such a weakling when I fought him. Then all of the sudden, one punch is all it took to end it there. 
I felt so damn weak after that punch. I hated myself. Then after I heard about the Heaven Tower being destroyed, I was free from all the madness. Free from that damn contest. But little did those imbeciles knew. The souls from Elizabeth Taylor hasn't been fully destroyed. I got Matsu's soul, Murray's soul, Joel's soul, even his naive daughter's soul. Each and every Taylor family member's souls has been retrieved. Once Elizabeth's soul is recessioned, I shall consume it and achieve a power of a god. I would certainly love enjoy killing the entire family tree. I can feel it coursing inside me, the urge is almost ready. I have waited every year for this moment to come. With Elizabeth's soul inside me, I'm one step closer from becoming immortal. No one cannot stop me. I will be a true god this world needed. A god that determines faith in hands. The entire world. W will feel my wrath. Of the pain I felt a long time ago. Get ready Shinki. Everybody you know and love will die from the hands of me. No one, and I mean no one, is going to stop me from becoming a true god.